The possibility that there might be more than one dimension of time has occasionally been discussed in physics and philosophy. Physics. Special relativity describes spacetime as a manifold whose metric tensor has a negative eigenvalue. This corresponds to the existence of a time-like direction. A metric with multiple negative eigenvalues would correspondingly imply several time-like directions, i.e., multiple time dimensions, but there is no consensus regarding the relationship of these extra times to time as conventionally understood. If th special theory of relativity can be generalized for the case of k-dimensional time and n-dimensional space, then the dimensional interval being invariant, is given by the expression 2 equals 2 plus, plus 2 minus 2 minus, minus 2. The metric signature will be OR. The transformations between the two inertial frames of reference K and K, which are in a standard configuration, are given as follows. Where are the vectors of the velocities of K, against K, defined accordingly in relation to the time dimensions T1, T2, Tk, sigma equals 1, 2, K, lambda equals K plus 2, K plus 3, K plus n. Here delta sigma theta is the Kronecker delta. These transformations are generalization of the Lorentz boost in a fixed space direction in the field of the multidimensional time and multidimensional space. Let us denote and where sigma equals 1, 2, k, eta equals k plus 1, k plus 2, k plus n. The velocity addition formula is then given by where sigma equals 1, 2, k, lambda equals k plus 2, k plus 3, k plus n. For simplicity, let us consider only one spatial dimension x3 and the two time dimensions x1 and x2. Let us assume that in point O, having coordinates x1 equals 0, x2 equals 0, x3 equals 0, there has been an event E. Let us further assume that a given interval of time has passed since the event E. The causal region connected to the event E includes the lateral surface of the right circular cone 2 plus 2 minus 2 equals 0. The lateral surface of the right circular cylinder 2 plus 2 equals C2 delta T2 and the inner region bounded by these surfaces, i.e., the causal region includes all points for which the conditions 2 plus 2 minus 2 equals 0 and x3 c delta t or 2 plus 2 equals c2 delta t2 and x3 c delta t or 2 plus 2 minus 2 greater than 0 and 2 plus 2 less than c2 delta t2 are fulfilled. Theories with more than one dimension of time have sometimes been advanced in physics whether as a serious description of reality or just as a curious possibility. It's Zach Baz's work on two-time physics, inspired by the so-symmetry of the extended supersymmetry structure of M-theory, is the most recent and systematic development of the concept. Walter Craig and Steven Weinstein proved the existence of a well-posed initial value problem for the ultra-hyperbolic equation. This showed that initial data on a mixed hypersurface obeying a particular non-local constraint evolves deterministically in the remaining time. Dimension. Philosophy. An experiment with time by J. W. Dunn describes an ontology with an infinite hierarchy of conscious minds each with its own dimension of time and able to view events in lower time dimensions from outside. His theory was often criticized as exhibiting an unnecessary infinite regress. The conceptual possibility of multiple time dimensions has also been raised in modern analytic philosophy. John G. Bennett, an English philosopher, theosophist, anthroposophist, and follower of the mystic George Gurdjieff, posited a six-dimensional universe with the usual three spatial dimensions and three time-like dimensions that he called time, eternity, and hypoxis. 
time is the sequential chronological time that we are familiar with. The hypertime dimensions called eternity and hypoxis are said to have distinctive properties of their own. Eternity could be considered cosmological time or timeless time. Hypoxis is supposed to be characterized as an ableness to be and may be more noticeable in the realm of quantum processes. According to Bennett, the conjunction of the two dimensions of time and eternity could form a hypothetical basis for a multiverse cosmology with parallel universes, existing across a plane of vast possibilities, while the third time-like dimension hypoxis could allow the theoretical existence of sci-fi possibilities such as time travel, sliding between parallel worlds and faster-than-light travel. No well-known physicist or cosmologist has endorsed these ideas. While Bennett has put forward some curious speculation, the question of measurement is left unaddressed, as is how one might falsify his suggestions. In fiction, in the final novel of the trilogy Humans as Gods The Reverse Time Loop, Sergei Snigov puts into the mouth of the protagonist words, this is my idea to break out of the one-dimensional straight time during a two-dimensional time. The Number of the Beast by Robert A. Heinlein features a six-dimensional cosmology in which there are three time dimensions, denoted T, Tau and Teh. The Where Tetralogy by Rudy Rucker features aliens called Metamartians who are from a part of the cosmos where time is two-dimensional. In Diane Duan's Star Trek novel The Wounded Sky, the Hamilke physicist K.T.L.K. states that time has three dimensions, called inception, duration, and termination. The comic series Sonic the Hedgehog uses this theory to its advantage when Sonic meets his evil twin Scourge.